You know, they say Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. Guess again. Just realising that this makeup partially limits what I can do with my face, so this should be interesting. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to my lair. Yes, team, it has happened again. One of my favourite times of the year has rolled around once more. So welcome back to Halloween Specials Week. For those of you who weren't with us last year, here's how this works. I basically upload three videos throughout this week instead of one, and then because Halloween falls on a Monday quite conveniently this year, we're going to have another Halloween special on Halloween itself as well. All the Halloweenness, basically. So to kick things off, we are going to be experiencing something that I'm not going to lie, I have held a great deal of excitement for since, like, June. It's the Lush Halloween range! Oh my goodness, there is a god and it smells fantastic! Let's jump right in, shall we? Let's start with soaps! We've got two soaps in the Halloween range this year, and the first one is called Fireside, and evidently because of that it has some fiery detail on here, very visually appealing. Oh, now that smells good. It smells... It smells kind of spicy, actually. Hmm. I'm getting cinnamon and clove. Ah, that would be because there is actually clove oil in here, along with chestnut, coconut oil, and vanilla. It kind of reminds me of the Lily Flame Cranberry Crush candle I had last year for Christmas. So if you've smelt that, you know what I'm talking about. The second one we have here is called Magic Wand. Again, very pretty, but a completely different smell. This is. This is a lot more down the citrusy brick road. A lot of orange, I'm feeling the orange vibes. Whew! I have seriously rekindled my love for Lush soaps recently, like... The smell sticks around for so long, your skin always feels really soft, and you smell great. All day long. The next product I have here is actually quite a nice new addition to the Halloween range this year, and that is the Goth Fairy Shimmer Bar. Very, very cute. I reckon the concept with this is there's loads of lovely oils in here, and then you just rub it on your skin, and boom! Like a baby's butt. And as a bonus, there's a good bit of shimmer in there too, so you'll be nice and sparkly. And this smells like black currant diluting juice. Um, it's not as, it's kind of similar to the Comfort Scent from Lush, but it's not the same. That one's a little bit too strong for me, but this is nice quite mild. This actually looks like one of the ghosts from Ghostbusters, I'm not even kidding. And speaking of ghosts, we have this little guy and he is the Boo Bath Melt, currently melting in my hands right now and I have no idea why I'm referring to him as a person. Have I reached that point in my life where my friends are my bath products? Quite possibly. This one has some cocoa butter in it which is amazing, very good for the skin and I'm obsessed with cocoa butter and the smell of it as we know from my butterball obsession. Um, it also says here, perfumed with ginger and floral and citrus oils. So this is another spicy one. Oh my God, that smells delicious. Can I eat you? Again, like a person, something is wrong here. If you haven't used a bath oil from Lush, pretty much same concept as a bath bomb. You just drop it in the water and instead of fizzing away, it just melts and all those oils go into your bath and it feels Lovely. Melty, melty, melty! I kind of want to do all the bath bombs and bubble bars all together, so the next thing we have here is the Lord of Misrule Shower Cream. Now this is a well-loved, well-cherished scent from Lush at this time of year, and it's black pepper and patchouli, and it just... Ah, oh, Yes, 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 my nose is having a party right now. Expose yourself to this intoxicatingly naughty concoction. Whew! Steady on, Lush. This is a guy scent. It smells, it smells like a guy. Like if someone, if another human smells like this, you want to be near them. I also love that this is a shower cream. Very nourishing on the skin. I love their shower gels as well, but the shower creams, I think are stealing my heart away. We shall see. Okay, I reckon we're on to bath bombs now, and one that is taking Halloween by storm this year is Monster's Ball. It says here, powered by screams. It's just like Monsters Inc. Mike Wazowski. Yes, you're pick on the guy with one eye. Although mine doesn't actually have an eye. He's, he's a little bit, um, yeah. <laughs> this one again, very nice citrusy scent. Getting a lot of lemon. I like the lemon. Very fresh, very nice. Actually smells 
That smells like the stuff I use to wash my clothes. Interesting. Also, I can only imagine all the colors you're gonna get in the water with this. I have no idea if there's anything special inside here, but even just the pink and blue, oh yeah, it's gonna look pretty. Alrighty, we have a returner product here, and that is the Lord of Misrule Bath Balm. And as you can imagine, it smells the same as the shower cream, although I think it looks different than last year, I think. No? Oh wait, no it doesn't. Looks the exact same. Didn't see the star there. Either way, I reckon this is still gonna look and feel beautiful. Oh, I love that smell. The Autumn Leaf Bath Balm, which is currently falling to pieces, so I'm gonna be very delicate with it. Um, I just love the look of this one. I think it looks incredible. I love the detail they put into it. I love the colors. It's just very appropriate in many ways for this time of year, and I can see powder flying everywhere. It smells very fresh and florally, I think. Outdoorsy is how I would describe it. Autumn colors dapple your bath. Red and yellow as falling leaves signify the start of winter. From the comfort of a hot bath, watch as the evenings draw in. Now that sounds perfect. I think I might give this one to my sister. I think she'd like that one. It's a very her bath bomb. It's a pumpkin! Another new addition this year. I love the detail they've put into it, how it's got the kind of jack-o'-lantern face carved in and how the lines of the pumpkin are embossed all the way around. Very pretty, I like the effort. Again, this one is very citrusy. I was actually kind of hoping for a really strong pumpkin scent, but I suppose that could be quite heavy if you're sitting in the bath for a long time, which I do a lot. <laughs> Still very nice though. I can imagine that's gonna be a nice kind of bright color in the water as well. Pretty pretty. And I have saved one of my favorites for last. It's not just a pumpkin. It's a sparkly pumpkin. Look at it. Look at it! Again, the glitter is going everywhere, thank you Lush, I wouldn't expect anything less. So if you're not a glitter person, I would steer clear of this one, but personally, I love this. I just love the look of it, the colour, the glitter, the little clove on the top, the smell. Oh, that smell is unreal! It just smells great. I w it is taking every fibre of my being and also the knowledge that there's a hell of a lot of glitter on there to stop me from eating this right now. This one is a bubble bar, so you can just crumble under running water and make bubbles. And also I should imagine that you'll get a couple of uses out of this, so you can just kinda chop it up if you want to, maybe get three baths, we shall see. But there's plenty of glitter to go around. Evidently. <laughs> well, I must say, my nose thoroughly enjoyed that experience and I hope that you, sitting at home, did as well. If you have, please leave me a little comment below of what your favourite product from this range is or if you bought any yourself and of course give this video a big thumbs up! Also, you should totally subscribe to see the rest of Halloween Specials Week, it's gonna be awesome and we may be getting a certain spooky guest! It's someone you all know and love! So push the button! But other than that, much love you guys and I shall see you all! very soon.